Hi everyone, thanks for listening to my presentations. I want to talk about breastfeeding and jaundice. It might be confusing to those who are not in the health field like nurses, doctors, medical students, and nursing students. But to those who are in health services, we are familiar with this, right? So I'll be talking about breastfeeding jaundice and breast milk jaundice. They are not the same. Okay, sit back and let's go. Breast milk jaundice. I'm taking the time to go over this because in the past I've read so many literatures when it comes to breast milk jaundice, they've just tell us that there's a substance in breast milk that is responsible. But today, I'll tell you the name of the substance and why that substance is responsible. So breast milk jaundice is found in infants that are exclusively breastfed. The total bilirubin could be greater than 86 micromole per liter. Breast milk jaundice will persist for weeks after delivery. You don't need to rush for treatment. All you need to do is monitoring. Now, what is the name of that substance in the breast milk that is causing this problem? Umami contains increased level of beta glucuronidase, and that will lead to idolysis of beta D glucuronic acid. Idea. The function of D glucuronic acid is to bind to drugs, bilirubin, and other substances that pass through the liver. And with that, it will facilitate the excretion by making any substance it binds to to become soluble. So many of them are lipophilic, but by the time D glucuronic acid binds to them, then they become soluble. But in breast milk, the beta glucuronidase will advertise that D glucuronic acid, so will not be able to make bilirubin or drugs to become soluble. Hence, bilirubin will accumulate because the function of D glucuronic acid to bind to bilirubin to facilitate excretion by making bilirubin soluble is lost thanks to beta gluconidase that's what relies it. Treatment is not necessary, like I've just said, until bilirubin is high enough to the point of 20 milligram per DL or higher. So we start running around for what we're going to do. Later on, and there will be other presentation where I'm going to get more information on phototherapy and a chain blunt transfusion. Lactation or breastfeeding jaundice. You know, I've just said breast milk jaundice. This time around, this is breastfeeding jaundice. So of course, in the first week of life, the problem here is inadequate breastfeeding. So the child will be apovolemic and they will lose weight. So there's increased bilirubin and increased sodium. There is slower bilirubin elimination. There will be increased enterohepatic circulation. The maternal breast will become engorged. There could be cracked nipples. Fatigue or poor sucking can all increase the possibility of breastfeeding jaundice. In other words, when there's cracked nipple that is causing pain, the woman will not be encouraged to give the breast. Maybe the baby is fatigued, or the mother is fatigued, or the baby couldn't suck properly, or there's abnormal uh, formation of the head and neck region, particularly cleft leaf and palate, or the mom is depressed, and so on and so forth, or the mom is not even are having enough milk production. So all this will lead to inadequate breastfeeding. And that is what will lead to accumulation of the brain because there's low level of the volume 
I mean, I put, there's a polyvolemia, so there's not enough uh, fluid to clear off the bilirubin. Prematurity with difficulty in breastfeeding can also lead to this. You know, a, a weaker vessel, you know, the, the, the cuter infant is weak because of prematurity, so couldn't you know, feed properly. Um, the only treatment here is to increase breastfeeding. That's the only treatment here. Unlike breast milk, you don't treat, you only monitor, but you start treating when you, know, you reach 20 milligrams per DL. Here, you don't need to monitor anything. Just tell the woman, keep feeding, increase you know, the rate at which you feel. But it will come in the first week of life. So with this short explanation, thing there's no more confusion or argument as for breast milk jaundice and breastfeeding jaundice. And with that, at the end of this short presentation, there'll be more videos on jaundice. Kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get all my presentations immediately they're published. I appreciate it. Thank you.